Hi guys and welcome to your love reading. So today I'm going to be doing a general love reading. We're going to be seeing what is coming towards you in love, what your lover wants you to know. Oh my goodness, sorry, one second. Oh, I can never get um comfortable. Whew, okay, so I've already cleansed the energy and asked the relevant questions. So let's just go. I'm not saying, I'm not introducing the channel because I don't know if I want to upload this on my love channel or my normal channel, my Let Ebony channel. So whatever channel I upload it to is whatever channel it's going to be on, okay? <laughs> so let's get into it. So the overall energy, this, like the energy of stalking keeps coming up, guys, okay? We have groupie, okay? It reads shallow fan obsession stalking and last and then we have forest oh I f that's what i forgot to say sorry guys i'm all over the place um please remember that the energies in these readings can go vice versa so just take what resonates with the gender switch the roles do what you want to do whatever you don't got to do is come at me in the comments okay okay so it reads forest abundance hidden wealth transformation and growth okay so i feel like for some of you if you have an online presence this could be one of your fans that is obsessed with you falling in love with you okay this could be one of your exes okay this could be anyone okay but there is somebody in your audience that is watching you they're watching your every movement now you don't have to be online okay this could be in your neighborhood or whatever or this could be just like um if you have an online platform of some kind this could just be whatsapp this could be tiktok this could be um instagram facebook ig if you have a youtube channel whatever you have i feel like someone is definitely watching everything that you're doing they can see your transformation they can see your growth okay i also feel like this person could be going through a transformative period you definitely could be dealing with a scorpio does not have to be okay we have create with me underneath that it says creations concept teamwork and new beginnings so i definitely feel like somebody wants a new beginning with you but it's kind of like somebody's really obsessing over you okay i feel like someone is lusting after you so maybe somebody's just very very attracted to you okay sorry my hair is just really annoying me um yeah i also with the shallow i feel like someone is very attracted to your physical beauty so just be aware of that Well, they didn't like that I said that, but I don't know why the phone keeps doing that. It's the energies, people. It's the evil energies that don't want me to get out the truth. <laughs> so let's move on. Okay, so you have a groupie. Now, for some of you, maybe you have groupies and they keep throwing themselves at you because you've got all this money and all this wealth. And you're just like, I don't want no groupie pussy, okay? I want a realist, okay? Maybe some of you do. I don't know your life. Let's just see. Let's just see. Okay, just be very careful, you know, because... You don't really want to fuck about with a groupie. That's somebody who's kind of just obsessed with the fact that you're famous. You know, they don't actually love you, okay? So, let's just see. So, where, where is this going? So, this is for my beautiful collective. So, what is coming towards you? I did see the card of reflection that came out. I'm going to try and do a quick reading because I feel like this may cut out. Because I've done a long reading on this phone before. So, I don't know how much memory I have, okay? Oh, it's not coming out. What's going on? Yeah, so we've got dreams here. So I definitely feel like this definitely could be somebody that's really obsessed with you. Maybe someone just admires you. They just admire what you do. But I do feel like you are somebody's dream person or somebody's dream to meet you, to be with you, to connect with you. Now, for others of you, this could just mean that somebody is like um fantasizing about you a lot, okay? Yeah. Maybe your lover is your biggest fan. That's really nice. Okay, so if some of you are like dealing with somebody, I kind of feel like the person wants you to know that they really support you. They watch everything that, that, that you do, that you put out. Okay, so what is coming towards you? I also feel like maybe the persons of your dreams, maybe for some of you, you could be the groupie. <laughs> maybe there's someone that you're like, you know, like when you have an icon and like you really um mesmerized by them. And you're like, oh, it's never going to come true. They're never going to see me. They're never going to be interested in me. I'm not their type. Next thing you know, you're in love and fucking. You're like, oh my goodness, yes. Like, I, didn't, I didn't think this could happen. Like, I manifested you. Oh, my God, yes. Okay, so it could be like that. Okay, we've got endings and beginnings here, okay? Hmm. So for some of you, it definitely could be an ex. The card of reflection has come out again. So I feel like one of, I feel like for some of you, your ex is stalking you, especially 
especially if you have an online presence. But if you don't, this there's many different ways of stalking. But I feel like someone is like watching every single thing that you're doing, okay? And they want to start over with you. Okay, so yeah, that transformation energy, that Scorpio energy. Somebody wants to resurrect something. They want to bring something back to life. Okay, so maybe somebody has gone through a transformation and they kind of want to show you this. Maybe somebody wasn't giving to you before, but now they want to show that they can be rooted. They can be grounded. They can be loyal to you. They want to take you seriously. They want to build with you because we do have create with me underneath. So somebody wants to create something with you, some kind of concept. This could be a child or a business. Somebody may just see you as like someone who they can make a lot of money with also. Okay. Yeah. There also could be a groupie that's trying to create some kind of ending between you and a lover, okay? We have passion. So, yeah, somebody's very passionate about you. They're very desire, they desire you very much so, okay? Something about your pheromones as well. It's like somebody wants to feel you. They want to touch you. They want to be close to you. Something about your neck as well. Somebody really likes your neck, okay? Or somebody just wants to get close. We've got fertility at the bottom of the deck, yeah. So, somebody definitely wants to grow with you, okay? Somebody definitely wants to have a baby with you. If it's not a baby, they want to develop something with you, okay? But somebody can see how much you are growing. I feel like someone is really proud of you also yeah we got gifts and offers somebody wants to give to you something deepest desire yes someone sees you as an empress because oh sorry guys because this is my empress card could be dealing with the leo with the sunflowers there somebody kind of sees you as their sunflower somebody sees you blooming okay virgo taurus a capricorn a scorpio a pisces a Sagittarius or an Aries, I want to say as well. I feel like I just named all the signs. No, I don't see any air signs apart from... Did I say Libra? Okay, so let's just see where this is going. So this is for my beautiful collective. Please clarify dreams. Thank you. I like it when it like flows out. So we have the game of love. Okay, so yeah, for some of you, somebody could be playing some kind of games okay but this card does talk about two people kind of surrounded in like um they have beautiful surroundings they're kind of like on holiday together they're kind of just enjoying love and enjoying life and enjoying being in each other's company okay so i'm hearing that maybe somebody doesn't want to play any more games because with the dreams i'm getting that kind of seven of cups scorpionic piscean confusing energy so maybe somebody was being really confusing but now they don't they don't want to be confusing anymore for others of you i feel like somebody's trying to strategize how they can kind of um shoot their shot because you can see cupid is kind of like you know shooting his arrow at this woman here so i feel like somebody's somebody wants to be with you they desire to be with you i feel like somebody likes to um Somebody may want to go away with you. They may want to take you on holiday. They may want to visit you. Or somebody's kind of like visualizing, sitting down with you, listening to music, like a really romantic scene, okay? I feel like somebody kind of just visualize, visualizes a life with you. Some of you could be in same-sex relationships, but it does not have to be, okay? Somebody here is also very um, attracted to your body. Somebody like likes the way that you look naked, or they want to see you naked, or they just want to be their true self. They want to be vulnerable with you. I'm hearing like lean on me. See how she's leaning on her there, okay? But yes, I feel like somebody's fantasizing being with you. Now, for others of you, you know, somebody could be on some play, playboy, playgirl shit. So just be aware of that, okay? We have erotic bliss. So yeah, somebody sees that, you know, you are their happiness. You're very, um, you turn this person on a lot, okay? Um... Yeah, I, I'm also hearing some of you are very exotic and that's what somebody likes about you as well. But I feel like making love to you is kind of like making love to like a thousand people all at once. Oi! <laughs> it's just too much. Somebody's got that, that oyster pussy, okay? Oh, wait, that makes it sound like it's fishy. <laughs> I don't mean that, guys. Like, someone's got that, the juice. Someone's got the juice. Okay, I'm hearing, I got the juice from queen oh god i'm just i'm so obsessed with queen herbie because she just talks facts in her songs okay but um yeah you may want to listen to that juice queen herbie somebody just thinks you're you're very abundant sexually so you're very pleasing they put you up on a pedestal you see all these women here they're holding her up she's kind of glowing so i'm hearing somebody's got golden pussy somebody also likes your skin tone i feel like some of you got like this undertone glow to you that somebody kind of really likes okay yeah but somebody kind of wants to start something fresh with you 
it's kind of like you know when like you make love to someone they're just like listen i cannot let that go work best i ever had best i'm ever gonna get okay yes love secret okay and then we got the sweetest taboo at the bottom of the deck yeah so some of you definitely could be same sex if it's not same sex there's something that's real taboo about the relationship okay maybe people are against it or maybe you're from different places or there's just something real kind of just like it's almost like a forbidden love because we've got love secret here it's kind of like you kind of feel like i feel like this person feels that like they have to keep their passion or their desire for you a secret yeah because we do have groupy obsession um as the overall energy so for some of you i feel like someone loves you in secret so kind of like a secret admirer type person but it's like the more that they're away from you or the more that they watch you the more that they want you for others of you i feel like somebody feels like they have to keep you a secret because they've got really crazy people in their audience so if you are dealing with somebody maybe you're dealing with someone who's in the public's eye they're like i can't really show you off because i've just got these groupies that just um want to destroy what i have okay or you maybe somebody doesn't want their followers following you um i mean i don't know why well you know there's the multitude of reasons multitude of reasons they could try to be, they could be trying to protect you or somebody could be cheating on you with someone in their audience and that's why they don't want you to sh that's why they don't want to share you because you know there's a possibility the person that they are cheating on you with may reach out to you and you'll find out something we have the sweetest taboo at the bottom of the deck though so let's just see where this is going please clarify the game of love so we have um the solar plexus chakra the mantra for this is i can it reads motivation willpower purpose self-confidence ego authenticity and sun okay so yeah i feel like with the game of love and the authenticity it's like somebody's not being authentic here or somebody wants to bring light to a situation i also feel like somebody sees you as their sunshine i feel like you really inspire somebody and you motivate someone so when somebody watches you they kind of feel really confident it makes them want to act it makes them want to like believe in themselves or believe in you or believe in the connection so maybe for some of you you kind of just feel like love is a fantasy it's not really true because I never receive love, I'm never loved, or I just always get these weird groupy people obsessed with me, but nobody actually is grounded, nobody actually wants to kind of build with me, and it's kind of like, no, like, I can, or I will, or I want to, okay, I also feel like some of you are very, like, um, I don't say egotistical, egotistical, but maybe you have a big ego, and somebody finds that very attractive, okay, but I also feel like somebody's going to take action towards you, okay, somebody's motivated to take action, okay, I feel like somebody doesn't want to be a groupie anymore. They don't want to be in the audience anymore. They want to be with you. They want to say something to you, okay? So we have Neith, the goddess of weaving. It reads, creator, weaver, hunting, battle, war, arrow, and shield. Yeah. So we mentioned arrow before. So it's kind of like Cupid's arrow. Somebody wants to shoot their shot. Okay, somebody wants to fight for this. So you could have been at war at odds with somebody. Okay, with the weaving, I'm hearing what a web we weave when we set out to deceive. So somebody could have lied to you about something. Maybe that's why something ended, but now somebody wants to kind of say something to you. They want to confess something to you, okay? But I feel like somebody sees you as very powerful, very strong, okay? Somebody kind of wants to defend you. They see you as a warrior or a, wor a warrioress. So they find that really, really attractive, okay? So somebody wants to start something up again because they have a lot of passion for you, okay? And we got um, Leo energy here. It says sun, so we got sun twice. Five, sun, fire, pleasure, courage, confidence, pride, creativity, and happiness. Yeah. So bliss, happiness. We've got bliss. We've got happiness here twice. So I feel like you are somebody's sunshine. You make somebody really happy. Okay. With the love secret as well. I feel like maybe somebody was keeping their love a secret. They're going to show you off or they're going to say something or expose the way that they feel. That's going to make you really happy because maybe you're just like, especially if you've got Leo placements, you're like, I don't want to be hidden. I want everybody to know I'm you. I I'm you. I'm with you. I'm all yours. You need to put me up on a pedestal. Show all these other bitches. They are beneath me. This is who, th like, I'm yours. This, this is mine right here. This is who I want to be with. Okay. So somebody wants to show you off or they want to express something. Maybe somebody may want to publicly announce something also. Or they may want to do something with for you in the public to let all their groupies know. Like, yeah, this is mine. I don't want you bitches, okay? I have the sun. What's better than the sun? 
okay but somebody sees that you're shining i think somebody really thinks that you're really gorgeous something about your hair as well some of you got big hair somebody really likes that okay somebody thinks that you're very ferocious very ferocious and very um feisty i feel like they find that very attractive yeah we got the throat chakra at the bottom of the deck it says i speak communication truth social skills expression and sound yeah so somebody wants to express something to you okay so I feel like they're going to, I feel like you're really motivating somebody to want to say something, okay? Oh, I just got a dizzy spell there. So I feel like that's how you make someone feel. Okay. Oh, my top just, you know. So this is for the collective. Okay, gorgeous. We have oh so serious and oh so loyal that wanted to come out. So yeah, so somebody wants to be loyal to you. They want to be serious with you. They want to show you that they're um they're serious. They want another chance. So if this person was playing games or whatever, okay, somebody's like, no, I want to be loyal to you. I want to show you what love is. You make me motivated about love. You make me want to believe in love. You make me want to believe in you. Or I, I'm happy when I'm with you. Okay, I feel like just you just make somebody really happy. Oh, so spiritual wanted to come out. So maybe you have a very spiritual connection with this person. You could also be very spiritual. And this is what this person likes about you. And we have, oh, we have oh, so exceptional at the bottom of the deck. Gorgeous energy. Okay, so this is what somebody wants you to know. This is what they're going to tell you. Okay, I feel like somebody likes your knowledge as well. Or you're just very well connected. Somebody just finds that really attractive. Okay, so gorgeous energy. Okay, so please clarify. So this is for my beautiful collective. So we have the nine of pentacles. So yeah, somebody sees you as very independent, okay? Again, something about your body or the way that you look or somebody looks at your pictures because the nine of pentacles is normally somebody who's being watched. This could be also be a doll. So I feel like somebody looks at you as like a doll. Maybe they call you cute pet names, okay? But somebody just thinks that you're perfection, okay? Could be dealing with a Virgo, but it does not have to be. So I feel like somebody sees you as independent, unencumbered, just very self-sufficient, very like, you're very, um. I was gonna say very self-made. You're self-made, so somebody sees that maybe you have a business or you do things for yourself and somebody likes that. Someone's like, yeah, like, you you know, like I said, somebody kind of sees that you're very um motivational. You could be a motivational speaker, but you have a lot of self-confidence and a lot of willpower. Somebody likes that. Somebody sees that you're very strong and independent on your own and they just find that very um attractive about you. Okay, they make you make somebody want to be um more independent. But somebody likes the fact that you think for yourself. I feel like they think that you're very good at whatever it is that you do also. You're very down to earth. You're very real. Oh. Okay. I just feel like somebody just doesn't want you doesn't want to be single from you anymore. Okay. Yeah, so we got the eight of passion and the five of emotion. So the eight of ones and the five of cups. Could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Sagittarius, like I mentioned before. Okay, but somebody feels real regretful or remorseful for something so they want to communicate to you okay yeah because this is in the row of endings and beginnings so maybe somebody ended it with you i'm hearing there ain't no sunshine when she's gone okay because there's all darkness in that and there's all light in this picture so somebody kind of wants to tell you something okay they've been watching you online they want to say something somebody again may say something to you online out loud in front of the public or just they just may message you on your device okay but somebody's thinking about all the things that they could have said, should have said, would have said, but didn't say. Okay. But somebody regrets not speaking to you or regret, regrets not saying something when they had the chance. But I feel like somebody's now, they want to speak with the throat chakra. Okay. Yeah, somebody. Oh, okay. No, there's too many cards there. It's like three. Okay. So we've got the fallen angel. Okay. So somebody wants to balance out their light and their dark energy. I feel like somebody's obsessed with you. OK, there was something that wasn't um, what it seemed also. So something may be revealed, but you just could be dealing with a Capricorn. OK, but again, I feel like you're tapped into somebody spiritually. So it's kind of like you can read them. You see the darkness within them. You see the secrets that they try to hide. OK, so there definitely could have been a secret. Or again, somebody wants to keep you as a secret to protect you from spiritual attacks. Maybe they're spiritual vampires or, you know, just dark energy that's trying to attach themselves to this beautiful connection or to this beautiful love. Okay, but whatever it is, I feel like you're going to um, get gain some kind of clarity onto this situation. Or somebody wants to tell you something, okay? Yeah, the three of swords is at the bottom of the deck. Could be dealing with a Libra. Somebody's very heartbroken without you. Somebody could have broke your heart. 
There could have been a third party situation also that somebody wants to confess about, they want to tell you about, okay? Or somebody's just been living a lie. Sorry, guys, I was looking for my other deck. Like, where is it? Should I just use mine? Please come find the nine of wealth. Yeah, so we got the four of wands. So somebody definitely wants a relationship with you, but somebody kind of sees that you're stable and you're solid all on your own. And like I said, that's very attractive to somebody, okay? So it could be dealing with an Aries. I feel like they're going to take action towards you. Somebody definitely admires you as well. They can see that you're independent. It's like, I don't give a fuck if I'm with you or without you. You know, life has to keep going, okay? Then we got the king of wands. So yeah, someone's very, very passionate. They, they are watching you. Someone's like manifesting you, trying to draw you in. Okay, definitely could be an Aries or a Leo. But like I said, somebody wants to take action. They regret not taking action when they could have. So they want to speak to you. They want to go and get what's theirs. Okay, so someone has a lot of desire for you. They're very... Uh, look at his face. He looks really serious. This is in the role of oh so serious. So someone's very serious about their approach. Yeah, the four of swords, somebody cannot stop thinking about something, okay? They can't get something off of their mind. They want to heal a situation with you, okay? But deep introspection. Somebody could have been thinking about their dark ways also, about the part that they played into a situation, the fact that they kind of pretended that they were, you know, this, but really they're this. Okay, so somebody's literally thinking about the darkness. They're thinking that you balanced them out also, but they're thinking about you. They're thinking about you obsessively as well with the devil card there, okay? I also feel like somebody knows that you know about a secret. So they're kind of thinking, how did you know? And then we got judgment. Yeah, someone's facing judgment. Also, I feel like somebody wants to reach out to you. They want to say something to you. But somebody definitely wants a second chance because they are going through it. Okay? Yeah, underneath that, we do have the tower. So I feel like maybe it's someone's karma to be a part of your audience or maybe they're a part of your audience and they're getting triggered to kind of say something. But I feel like someone's facing judgment. They're judging themselves. They're thinking about the devilish ways or how they've behaved towards you or this could be you. Okay. So I feel like somebody, they're going to reach out. They're going to say something. Again, you could be a public speaker with the judgment card. I also feel like maybe you called someone out on their bullshit. Or somebody's calling themselves out on their bullshit. I'm hearing the truth hurts. So I feel like if you, somebody does say something to you, I do feel like it's going to be hurtful. But, you know, there may be forgiveness here. But I feel like somebody just needs to speak their truth. Because we do have truth on this card also, okay? Yeah, we have beauty. So somebody thinks that you're beautiful, okay? I wished for someone like you. So that's what somebody wants you to know. Like, yeah, the girl of my dreams or the guy of my dreams with that dream card. So somebody's wishing for you or they wished for you. Maybe they fucked something up. Yeah, and then we got time apart here. So yeah, so somebody's apart from you. They're away from you and they can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop thinking about the breakup. And wow, we've got you're the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Wow. So yeah, someone is really captivated by you. It's like, you know when you had someone real beautiful? That Yeah, that's my Empress card. It's like, I can't believe I let this person go. They're such a beautiful person inside and out. Some of you definitely have freckles or you've got beauty marks or something about your face and your hair. I want to send you something pretty. So, yeah, so somebody wants to send you something really pretty to kind of make up something up to you. Okay. We have you're getting on my nerves, you dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what this person wants to say sorry about. Okay. With the endings and the beginnings. I feel like someone is annoying. Maybe somebody's in and out, always ghosting, always coming back and forth. It's like, oh my goodness. So I feel like somebody's kind of like getting on their own nerves here. They regret being a dickhead. They regret annoying you and being distrusting or just, you know, disloyal or whatever, okay? I saw your love is protected. Oh, it came out again. Your love is protected, yeah. So with the love secret, I do feel like for some of you, somebody was trying to protect you um, from a particular person. It could have been from a Capricorn or they were protecting you from a dark secret, but I feel like they have to tell the truth or they're going to continue to face judgment. And then we got, let's talk all night till the sun comes up at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. I feel like somebody definitely sees you as their son. Because I'm seeing a lot of sons here and the word son here is three times. I'm hearing third time's a charm. Okay, but somebody wants to talk to you all night. Somebody could be thinking about the times that you spoke as well. So maybe you spent a lot of time with this person on the phone okay but i feel like you're going to have a conversation with this person 
for some of you if they decide to reach out i feel like it's going to be a very emotional conversation but i feel like you're going to talk all night literally till the sun comes up i feel like somebody really wants to get something off of their chest i want you to be mine forever yeah so somebody wants to be with you like i said you're somebody's dream person okay i feel like you're the answer to somebody's prayer or somebody's wish okay we have i love you so fucking much yeah somebody does they love you a lot okay and then we've got pick up the damn phone i just want to talk to you so yeah somebody wants to reach out you're my soulmate i feel like we've met before maybe in a past life so this is how this person feels about you they feel like they you are their soulmate they feel like a very deep connection with you i feel like this person wants you back or again this could be you Wow, so we have I am expressive that wanted to come out. So yeah, so somebody wants to express the way that they feel. I feel like this person is being, um, I don't want to say forced to, but you know, with that judgment card and the three of swords, I just kind of feel like it's like, it's like a now or never situation. It's like, if you don't say what you're going to say, we're going to kind of like make you say it. We've got, I am attracting pure love that wanted to come out. Yeah, you could be dealing with someone at a distance from you or somebody who's across the world. Or yeah, somebody who's worldwide, like somebody watches you. And I feel like you give this person life, you ground them, you keep their head on. So this is what this person wants to tell you. But with I'm attracting pure love, this is you. You are the purity here with that Virgo energy. You know, you're very loyal. Okay, you was very loyal and devoted to this person. I feel like this person wants to be very loyal and devoted towards you okay so they are trying to attract you they're trying to bring you forward okay so somebody kind of sees you as love love itself or maybe they've learned a lesson about love okay yeah and then we've got i am healthy so somebody wants to heal something with you okay and then we've got i am receiving messages from my ancestors at the bottom of the deck so yeah i feel like your ancestors are kicking someone's ass here okay so you may want to watch, if you haven't watched the other reading, the collective reading, because it's quite similar. There was a lot of love, something to do with like love and lessons. You may want to watch that, okay, the, on, my, on, on the Ebony Tarot, because I'm not sure what channel I want to post this video to yet. But I've done a collective reading. It says it's a secret, yeah. So like I said, there's a secret that needs to be revealed here, okay? So somebody was keeping you a secret or keeping something from you. I also feel that this person feels that they can share their secrets with you. It's kind of like you don't tell, you know, if somebody shares something with you, well, I'm here and keep this between me and you. But I feel like somebody misses talking to you and telling them about, you know, things in their past or things that they've kind of... I, I feel like you know a lot of secrets about this person or you've shared a lot of secrets or somebody misses that, okay? They kind of just feel like they can be themselves with you. They can be open with you or this is what this person wants to do. But I do feel like there is a secret that is about to be revealed it definitely could be to do with a groupie of some kind okay we got ground yourself so yeah like i said you keep somebody grounded okay and then we have wisdom that wanted to come out yeah somebody here's very wise and we got just dance when i think about just dance i always think about woo like dancing for joy like yes some of you could be dancers also maybe somebody wants to dance with you maybe this person listens to music and when they listen to music they think about you okay and then we have shame, yeah. So somebody feels ashamed for the way that they treated you or somebody feels ashamed about something. Somebody is very embarrassed here. They feel shame. I feel like the you know, the universe is, is making somebody look deep within themselves. You see how she's um, meditating there? So someone is very, very ashamed. And then we got surrender that wanted to come out. This came out in the other reading. So somebody needs to surrender to you, surrender to the, the, the divine. Somebody needs to confess something here, okay? Soul forgiveness, yeah. I think that card came out too. So somebody wants forgiveness. Okay, and then we got erratic cords. The same cards, very interesting. I feel like the divine picked you to be with someone. Or you could be the child of the divine, Okay. So it's kind of like you can't, but I'm kind of getting like a divine couple, a divine partnership here. Maybe in a past life you were like related to this person, but there's like something that kind of keeps you attached to this person. I feel like they cut the cord and that was a big mistake. So I feel like they're being punished. Okay, for some of you, you could be dealing with the mother or the father of your child. Okay. 
this card wanted to come out it reads look deep within your heart and you will feel my love my love for you is as deep as the ocean oh yeah so somebody loves you deeply i feel like somebody um they broke they lost the love of their life and it's like they're facing judgment for that i feel like somebody's very distraught without you or you could be very distraught but this person wants you to know that they love you this card came out okay it reads criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform yeah so there was something that somebody wasn't accepting about themselves or wasn't accepting about you or somebody could have just not been accepting the love okay i also feel like somebody sees that you accept the dark and the light within them and it makes them want to do better it makes them want to be a better person okay and then we have power it says you instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time okay and at the bottom of the deck it says if you could do anything what would it be the answer dwells in your heart not in your mind for the heart is the gateway to the soul so the fact that we have soul forgiveness and soul here so somebody and the devil card here it's like somebody wasn't you know i don't want to say someone sold their soul here but somebody was acting heartless ruthless okay something to do with power and control maybe somebody gave in to a groupie or to an outside energy i feel like this person whatever they gave into their heart ended up getting broken in the end so you know i also feel like breaking your heart broke theirs have i used this no i haven't used this deck they said to keep pulling ancestral connection and travel wanted to come out so i'm getting something about astral travel but yeah the ancestors i feel like put you together yeah we've got reflection so somebody has really been reflecting on their behavior on the situation and like i said i feel like someone's going through the dark night of the soul they're going through judgment here okay they're looking into their past i definitely feel like you have a past life connection with this person with the all-seeing eye here it's kind of like they're seeing the truth or somebody knows that they have to tell you the truth about something because i feel like you see all you are the divine feminine or you have divinity about you yeah spiritual soul here again with the soul so you could have been dealing with a very soulless individual you know or somebody that didn't value things okay we've got abundance that wanted to come out okay you're very abundant somebody can see that about you okay for some of you, you could be dealing with the father or the mother of your child or you could you you were supposed to have a child with this person or maybe you had a child with this person in a past life or again somebody wants to develop something and they want to grow with you okay we do have money that kind of flipped over there okay maybe somebody wants to buy you something yeah and then we got mind that wanted to come out so i feel like somebody can't stop thinking about you also you're very mind um, you're very mind you're very wise your mind is very, very powerful, but I feel like this person is going through a transformation within their mind. And we've got my art at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, balance, justice, fairness, equilibrium. So someone's heart is weighing real heavy and in order to restore balance, they need to get something off of their chest, literally. Okay, so I'm just, because I feel like I've missed something. So we have rub and we have ears. So yeah, somebody wants to talk to you. Whenever I think about rub, I always think about, you know, like, oh, like, you know, hugs, rubbing things, um, making someone feel better, rubbing things. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so another card and then I'm going to go. Okay, so this wanted to come out. It reads, I have all of the tools necessary to accomplish today's goals. I listen to my gut. I am capable, strong, and wise. Yeah. So I feel like you're very capable. You're very resilient. You're very strong. So like I said before, you give somebody the motivation and the willpower to want to do something. I feel like you make somebody believe in themselves. I feel like someone is used to dealing with low vibrational energy because it's kind of like inside of them, that's kind of what they feel like they're worth. Okay. Because when you deal with low vibrational energy, soulless people... It's kind of like, um, let me not say that. Should I say it divine? No, that you guys are broken hearted enough. Let me not say that. Let me not say that. Okay, this one is to come out. Okay, it says wealth. I deserve to be 
a success. I do not fear abundance. I look forward to my desires becoming a reality. Money is a tool that I control confidently. Maybe somebody chose money over love, but like I said, I feel like somebody sees you as wealth. Okay, that you can be very wealthy and abundant with this person. I also feel like somebody wants to transform your life. Maybe they want to give to you, okay, um, because they feel like you deserve it. Okay, this card wanted to come out. It reads, I do my best in every situation. Things work out for my good. I can handle all opportunities with confidence. And at the bottom of the deck, we have this card. It reads, I remain authentic to my real self. I will say what I mean and mean what I say. I am loved. Yeah, so you're authentic, you're real. Somebody's used to dealing with fake people, okay? Empty connections, empty people. So maybe you make this person see the, the truth within themselves, okay? And then we've got skills. Some of you are very skilled, okay? You've got a lot of skills that this person admires, okay? I feel like if you were to have a business with this person, it would go really well. Okay, we have order. So I'm hearing order, order in the court. Love is at the bottom of the deck. So somebody wants to get something in order, okay? Somebody, maybe it was their job that was kind of controlling them or something like that. Or somebody could be a part of like some kind of cult or something, okay? Then we've got self-love here. So yeah, somebody wasn't loving themselves. Again, someone was soulless. They were dealing with loveless people, loveless beings, Therefore, they didn't know how to love. And I feel like you're teaching this person how to love. And then we got courage at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, somebody needs to be courageous here, okay? They just keep telling me to pull cards. God, my OCD is kicking in because all the cards are, like, all over the place. I'm just going to pull in one more. And then I'm going to go. So, just additional information. So, the same cards keep wanting to come out. We've got I love my natural self. We've got honor your hair's femininity. And then we've got hair illusion. So yeah, I feel like you're very powerful. Somebody knows that they need to honor you. Okay, and like I said, I feel like somebody had to learn a lesson when it came to themselves and their true value so that they know how to value you. And we've got protect your hair at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so somebody's very protective over you. If somebody was holding something to themselves, they're going to tell you, okay? And again, maybe there's something real taboo about the relationship. Maybe somebody was like told that they're supposed to love a particular person or... A particular thing you know maybe you like the same sex and um you know your family's not happy about that or you kind of feel like you can't be with the person who you really want to be with because they're the same sex and people are going to judge you everybody's like fuck all of that just love who you love do what you want to do be who you want to be with okay but somebody definitely thinks you're beautiful they definitely feel like you're you are their soulmate they are definitely missing you there's definitely going to be a change okay when it comes to being courageous because somebody needs to speak their truth okay or this is you you'll feel very empowered after doing so, okay? But I feel like somebody just sees you as very powerful and it makes them want to be more powerful, okay? So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Please not hesitate to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Toodles!